Hi everyone, today's topic is density. As we can see, there are two kinds of densities. One is our absolute density, another is our relative density. We have to basically see what the formulas of density is, how to calculate density for solids, liquids and gases. Now, generally I have separated this into two cases. One is case 1. We will calculate the density for solids and liquids. Both the densities we will calculate, the absolute as well as the relative one. Now, for solids and liquids, the absolute density AD, which is also denoted as small d, that is nothing but the basic formula that we have studied in our lower classes. That is, density is equal to mass by volume. This is our absolute density formula in case of solids and liquids. What about relative density? Relative density is nothing but absolute density upon density of water at 4 degrees centigrade. Now this density of water at 4 degrees centigrade is a standard, standard density. So the value of it is 1 gram per cc which we also call as 1 gram per ml. cc and ml is same thing. So 1 gram per cc. So what actually this particular relative density signifies? It signifies that how much more dense or less dense a particular solid or liquid is as compared to the density of water at 4 degrees centigrade. So as comparison to this one standard 1 gram per cc, how much more dense or less dense a particular solid or liquid is, that is given by relative density. Now relative density is also known as specific gravity. These two are same terms, don't get confused. If they ask spe specific gravity, it is same as relative density which is absolute density upon density of water at 4 degree centigrade. And relative density will have no unit. You can see here, absolute density also, the unit will come in gram per cc. Okay. By default, it, it comes as, as gram per cc. So, relative density will have no unit. Why? Because it's a ratio of two densities. Okay. So, it will have no unit. Please take note of this. Now, uh, questions from here are very simple and small. So, let's see the type of question that can come. Find density of 10 grams of HNO3 nitric acid in 50 ml of its solution. solution. Now, try it on your own. Try it on your own by pausing the video once. So, here density means we are asked to calculate absolute density. So, D will be equal to simple formula M upon V that is mass upon volume. Mass is given how much? 10. And how much is our volume given? 50. So, the answer will be 1 upon 5 gram per ml. Next question. Find find the specific gravity. So what is specific gravity? Nothing but they are asking relative density. Specific gravity of 40 grams of urea in 100 ml solution. What will we do? Here again we first we will find out absolute density. D is equal to M upon V. <clears throat> it will be 40 upon 100. So 
zero point four gram per ml. Now relative density or specific gravity is equal to absolute density upon density of water at four degrees centigrade. So one gram per cc. How much is the d that we have got? Zero point four gram per ml by one gram per ml. So definitely these two units will get cancelled, giving the value as only zero point four. So keep this in mind that numerically relative density and uh, absolute density, the numeral value will be same. Just that absolute density will contain a unit that is by default gram per cc or gram per ml. But relative density, as it is a ratio of two densities, it will have no unit. So this was our case one, which was for solids and liquids. Now coming to case two. That is for our gases. Case two for gases. Now, in case of gases, the absolute density formula is given by P M by R T. P M by R T, where P is our pressure in atmosphere. The unit will be atmosphere. M is what molecular weight of the gas. R is our universal gas constant. Universal gas constant. If the pressure is in atmosphere, the value of R is zero point zero eight two one. So while we are calculating, we are solving numericals. We can take this value as one upon twelve. It's the same thing. So it's for easier calculation. We can use this value as one upon twelve. And T is our temperature. Temperature in Kelvin. Now how is this basic formula coming up? We will be studying in uh, later chapters regarding ideal gas equation. What is ideal gas equation? P V is equal to N R T. We will be studying certain gas laws uh, in lower classes also. Charles law, Boyle's law, we have studied, and uh, combining all those laws, we get one ideal gas law which states that P V is equal to n r t where p is our pressure v is volume that is equal to constant at a constant temperature that should stay that product of pressure and volume should stay constant that is n r t where n is our number of moles here n is number of moles r is again universal gas constant and t is our temperature in kelvin now, P is equal to, I am bringing this V in the right side denominator, N upon V dot RT. Now, please recall what was the formula of, for calculating moles. If we relate moles to the weight given, what was the specific formula? Try to remember without seeing your notes. N was equal to W upon MW. So if I particularly put this value, substitute it here, what will I get? P is equal to W upon MW. This is volume and MW dot RT. And what is this? W by V. What is W by V? W by V is nothing but D density. Just now we have studied and came. See here, this is our W, this is our V. So that is equal to our absolute density. So we can replace here as D. P is equal to D by MW. I am denoting as M. M is nothing but the molecular weight of the gas. I have mentioned here as well. So dot RT. So from here, what are we getting? If we make D as the subject, what we will get? 
D is equal to P M R T. Okay, so this is how we have got the formula. This will this particular thing will be more clear when we uh, study states of matter. Although it has been removed from uh, mains, but still it is there in advance. So, anyways, we have to study it. It's very important. So, this is the first formula for absolute density for gases. Coming to the next part, that is our relative density. Relative density. What is relative density? It is the density of one gas with respect to another gas. So we are comparing two gases, okay? Density, relative density of one gas with respect to another gas at same temperature and pressure. Pressure and temperature is constant. So from here, relative density will be equal to D1 upon D2. When D1 is the density of gas 1 and D2 is the density of gas 2. Now, just now we have seen the absolute density formula. D is equal to Pm upon Rt. So, can I write from here D1 is equal to Pm1 by Rt when pressure and temperature is constant. And R is the constant from our childhood. R is always constant. Okay. So, uh, it, it just depends on the unit in which you are, you are taking the pressure. So, if pressure is in ATM, R will be 1 upon 12. So, what is changing basically? So, the change will be we can take different different gases. So, at that time, the molecular weight of the gas can change. So, that will uh, justify the density. Based on different molecular weights, the density will also change. So, for gas 1, density is equal to Pm1 by Rt. And similarly, D2 will be equal to P. M2 by Rt. Now I am replacing these two particular values in this equation. P M1 by Rt divided by P M2 by Rt. Now all the constants will get can cancelled. Pressure, pressure gets cancelled. Rt, Rt gets cancelled. Giving us M1 upon M2. Okay, so what did we get ultimately? We got relative density is equal to D1 upon D2. That is equal to the ratio of the molecular weights. Here also we will have no unit as it is the ratio of two similar things. Now, what actually does it signify? It is signifying that gas 1, how much when we are talking about relative density of gas 1, that means the gas 1 is how much more dense or less dense as with respect to or as compared to the gas 2 that we have taken. Okay, so it is a comparison like in compared to the density of the gas 2, how much more or less dense our gas 1 is. That is relative density of gas 1. Now, there is another type of density, especially in case of gases. What is that? Vapor density. Vapor density. What is vapor density? We denote it as Vd. So, vapor density, it is the density, it is kind of similar to relative density. But just that here in this vapor density, we are specifying what gas we have taken as gas 2. What does it mean? So, density of gas with respect to hydrogen gas. So, here gas 2 we have specified that it is hydrogen gas only. So, 
again vd will be equal to d1 upon d2 that is equal to m1 upon m2 now specifically we know that this gas 2 is what h2 gas so what will be the molecular weight of this h2 gas definitely 2 grams so vapor density is equal to vapor density of any particular gas 1 is equal to molecular weight of that gas upon 2 so from this particular concept it is coming that molecular weight is equal to 2 into vapor density So, our second, so in, in case of gases, we have got three total formulas. One is this one, D is equal to Pm upon Rt. Second, for relative density, this is the one we have got. This is our second one. And this is our third one. So, if we try to see uh, or analyze vapor density, what, uh, what will it signify? It will signify how much more dense or less dense a specific gas is in comparison to here we know the gas that is hydrogen gas now we will see certain applications of this um, let's say find density of so2 at two atmosphere pressure and 480 Kelvin. This is the first question. I am writing the question first then I will solve it. Relative density of SO2 with respect to CH4 at same temperature and pressure. So you can pause the video and try it on your own. Right. The first one, we need to find out the absolute density that is D. D is equal to Pm upon Rt. So, it will be pressure is given as 2 atmosphere into what is the molecular weight of SO2? SO2 molecular weight, sulfur molecular weight is 32 plus oxygen 1 atom atomic weight is 16. So, 16 into 2, that is 64. So, now 2 into 64 upon R value. When the pressure is in atmosphere, what will be the R value? 1 upon 12 into temperature given as 480. Do the calculation, 40. So, the answer will be? 3.2 gram per if you write ml it will be wrong here it is gram per liter so by default in case of gases the density will come in gram per liter but in case of solids and liquids it will be in gram per cc or gram per ml now next question relative density formula was now i have to find the relative density of SO2. So, I have to keep this SO2 mass in the numerator. M SO2 upon M CH4. So, M SO2, molecular weight of SO2 just now we have calculated that is 64 upon what is the molecular weight of CH4? It will be 16. So, it gets cancelled with 4. So, this means that this particular density of SO2 is 4 times as compared to the density of CH4. So, this is the physical significance of this Rd is equal to 4. That the density of SO2 is 4 times than that of CH4. One more question related to vapor density. Find vapor density of O2 and CO2. Okay. So, what is the molecular weight of uh, O2? Molecular weight of O2 is 32. So, vapor density will be equal to 32 upon 2. That is 
16. Here also we will have no unit because it is a ratio of the equal. What? It is a ratio of the two quantities which are same. So the units will get cancelled. Then mass of CO2 is how much? 12 plus 32. That is 44. So here the vapor density will be 44 upon 2. That is our 22. So the, here what does it mean? What does it signify? That the density of CO2 is 22 times than that of density of hydrogen. So here the second gas will not be given. By default we know that vapor density it is telling means the second gas, the comparison gas is our hydrogen itself. I hope you have understood all the types of densities. Thank you so much. See you in the next class.